Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro. I am recovering from being sick, so excuse the nasally voice, but I wanted to take a quick moment and show you a really handy speed ramping feature within Final Cut Pro. Let's go ahead and find the exact moment that we want our speed ramp to kick in. And I like this moment right there. So we're gonna push Shift B and that will essentially create a small edit in the speed going from 100% to 100%. Now let's just quickly change that. We'll come over here to the secondary part where we want it to slow down click the down arrow go to slow and go to 50% now I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the first part of this video just to really make what we do evident okay so if we play back we've got a nice slow ramp into slow-mo we can drag these gray bars out and change the duration of the speed ramp if we want to but here is where the hidden feature comes in handy if we double click where this edit essentially happens in the speed ramp we get these two hidden options here the first option here speed transition we can enable or disable and you'll notice that these gray bars go away so essentially what this does is rather than have a nice smooth ramp into 50% speed we actually just have almost like a cut in the speed so if I play it it just immediately hits into that 50% speed. The next feature, if I double click it again, is the source frame. And this is what I find exceptionally useful. So sometimes when you do a speed ramp, you'll notice that you don't actually like the particular frame that the ramp begins on. And oftentimes I would actually just redo the whole ramp and it cost me a lot of time. But if we push this edit button, it actually gives us this nice little reel here with an arrow. And that reel, we can click and drag and change the actual frame that the speed ramp begins on. So if there's a different frame, say somebody's doing a backflip and you want to start it a frame later or a frame earlier, you can easily move this around to the exact moment that you want the speed ramp to begin. So we can just click and drag to the point we're happy with, let go, and now the speed ramp is going to happen later in time. Super useful, it's just a very simple feature, but it has saved me a lot of time, especially when working with speed ramps. So I hope that was helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing that like button. Consider subscribing as I have new videos every Friday and Monday.